I'm really sorry in advance about the noise in the background. If you hear it, it's very annoying to me, but I can't do anything about it. So I don't have a soundproof room. I really need to find a snazzy way to say, you know, welcome and all that. That's not generic, but yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I hope you guys have been you know, noticing my consistency. I'm gonna applaud myself because no one else will. Well done, Jared, well done. I just wanted to get back to just, you know, sitting down and kind of reflecting on certain things and talking about topics that I think are really 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 important to me and I think that would be important to you guys as well in terms of us all personally developing together. The topic of this of this video is about friendships. A lot of the time, I always say a lot of the time, the topic of friendships is not, it's not really discussed in an insightful way and there's a couple things that I wanted to talk about in terms of friendships that I think are really important. Friendships are one of the most make or break relationships they're the most pivotal relationships and i think a lot of the time the focus is on relationships in terms of a boyfriend or a girlfriend i look around and a lot and a lot and a lot of people just have bad friendship groups when i hear some of the stories about things people are doing cheating with your friend's man stealing from your friend gossiping about your friend laughing about your friends behind their back i i don't i don't understand so i just want to talk about it and i've been waffling a lot so yeah, let's get into the video. It's very easy to be misunderstood. It's very easy to like be alone or be isolated or feel like, am I the only one going through this? Or am I the only one that understands this? And having a friendship and having a good quality friendship can often bridge that gap between feeling like you're the only one or feeling unsupported or not feeling reassured in who you are or like reaffirmed in who you are and like, I'm just not saying like and sure of yourself you know the purpose is not just for turn up and gossip and not to say that you know i don't want to be turning up with my friends and i don't want you know sometimes you just want to talk about the latest celeb news let's be real let's let's just call a spade a spade there's so much more that they can do so much for your your self-confidence your self-worth your self esteem maybe not self-worth but i'll get on to that we run into a lot of issues with our friendships there's a lot of people where you see like they're losing friends or they're going out of friendship groups and yeah a lot of people use this whole line of if you lose me that's your fault not mine or cut off people and blah 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 and i understand that and that's all well and good but there's so much more to it than just you know if you don't see eye to eye cut each other off if someone's not sharing your things cut it off or if someone what's what's the latest one i've seen oh this birthday thing you know i don't know I, it's controversial but to think that people cut friends off because of birthdays is wild to me i genuinely find that wild but cut someone off just because they haven't gone to your birthday it's a bit they could have financial situation they haven't explained that to you but sometimes people are just embarrassed and there's certain expectations and there's certain things that just happen in life that it's, it's just it is it's the way it is it's just the way it is and you can't really do much about it and when people are going through financial things and you want to be going to gauchos and you want to be going to i don't even know if gauchos is expensive if you want to be going to nobu you want to be going to the shard sometimes people's pockets just can't relate to that as you learn more about yourself and as you learn more about the way you work you learn a lot about the way other people work without judging them because you understand like your your own flaws and your your own shortfalls and your own weaknesses and because you can do that it kind of empowers you to be like okay i can work on this this is this in order to be a better person and as a byproduct of being a better person you'll always be a better friend i think that's one of the first things to note with friendships i think if you work on being a better friend you will have better friendships even for me for example sometimes i sit and i'm wallow and i'm like oh i haven't seen my friends in so long why have none of my friends reached out to me why are none of my friends sharing my things why are none of my friends doing xyz why haven't i seen my friends in this many weeks or whatever but then you have to stop and you have to check yourself as well because same way you haven't seen them and this that and all but you don't know what's going on on their side they're probably thinking the same thing and instead of you both being in your own separate corners and coming up with these narratives and coming up with these conclusions about what kind of friend somebody else is more times they're probably thinking the same thing about you so you can be a better friend you can be the person to pick up the phone and all of this kind of stuff and i think eliminating the ego from friendships will help build longer lasting friendships and let me not even just say longer lasting but will help build stronger friendships putting too much focus on what another person is doing is always going to leave you feeling like you're at the mercy of the other person and we need to empower ourselves to be like my friendships begin and end with me so it begins with what I'm doing to be 
a good friend and it ends with how I'm responding to other people. It develops over time. It just doesn't all click all at once. If you're somebody that's really self-aware, it could happen quickly or you could just be blessed with a good friend and that could kind of teach you you know how we're supposed to be but it doesn't happen all at once and there's a lot of expectations that we might put on people that we need to kind of step back and check ourselves when i was younger a lot of my friendships it was built on you know, always talking to each other always being together and i think that happens naturally because you're in school so you always see people or you know bbm days everyone's always talking or even in primary school always having sleepovers and stuff like that so in my head i thought the more access you have to your friends or the more you see your friends the closer the friendship is right and i quickly quickly learned <laughs> i quickly quickly learned that just wasn't the case because i remember i had a best friend from literally like year one year two till when i say best friend i mean we knew each other's families constant sleepovers sharing secrets you know the ones where it's like if you see her you see me if you see me you see her type of thing it was like that and that was all the way up until maybe like i'd say year seven we went to separate secondary schools so the friendship just disintegrated and one of the things i learned from when that friendship ended was that it doesn't matter how much you want something to work if another person doesn't put the effort in you have to know when to gracefully fall back and you can't hold on to that do you know what i mean you have to let it go in the moment it was great you know you had a lot of memories you shared them treasure the memories let the person go like you gotta let it go and you know that saying if you love something you gotta let it go just let it go that goes for every relationship there comes a time when you know in your heart you're fighting for something and friendships it happens in friendships too you're fighting for something or you're trying to reach out to someone or you're trying to show someone hey 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 what's going on and they're just not responding it's like a dead plant that's how i'd explain it because once it was a seed you guys were both pouring into the friendship the friendship is like the plant is growing is growing is growing but one day one person stops pouring into it and it just becomes dead once something becomes dead it doesn't matter how much you water it how much effort you try to put into it it's dead it's dead and you can look at the plant and be like wow this used to be so beautiful maybe if i just pour into it no it's, it's dead and that friendship really really taught me that you have to swallow your pride you have to swallow your ego you just have to let it go and then you can make room for for better friendships it's easy to hold on to dead friendships just because of memories and just because you shared certain experiences together or you knew each other's families but when it's dead it's dead and you just have to know when to step away and make room for for newer better things and that's that's easier said than done because you always feel like we're never gonna have a friendship as close as this person but you would be surprised you would seriously be surprised a lot of the time when things fail or when things don't work out it is such it sounds so annoying but it is such a blessing in disguise because in the failures is when you can really analyze something because you know when you fail at something or when something goes wrong i don't know about you but i'm constantly thinking about it when something fails it's like oh why did it go wrong was it me was it this person you're overthinking it because as humans nobody likes failure it's a natural thing in life but nobody likes it so especially when a relationship fails that was so good and you're just like what the hell why did that happen including a friendship when i say relationship i'm talking about friendship by the way but when something fails you're constantly overthinking like why did it happen why did it happen and i think that's why failure is such um it's such a powerful thing because when you fail it really forces you to look into yourself and look into the situation and see what went wrong in a way where you know when you succeed at something i don't know how to explain it but when you succeed at something there's a high of like i'm a success and i'm not like i'm just like yeah, your gas for yourself it can inflate your ego if you're not humble i hope you know what i'm saying but failure is one of those things that it forces you to look at yourself and others because you feel a bit ashamed you feel a bit like oh how did that go wrong kind of thing so that's why I think it's important to look at failed friendships, failed relationships, because they will teach, I honestly feel like they can teach you more than a good friendship a lot of the time, because when something is good, you don't really question it, if that makes sense. One thing that's really followed me um, throughout the years is this feeling of possessiveness over your friends. You know when you see your friend with another friend and you're just like, mm, and, you just, and you just automatically don't like that person? It's a lot of insecurity. <laughs> it's this feeling of they're gonna take my friend away, right? You have to know that Every relationship that you have with someone and every relationship someone has with you is unique. There's experiences that you've had that nobody can take that away. And going on from like my first point, when you love something, you need to know how to let it go. You need to know how to be comfortable with seeing your friends with other friends. Be comfortable with your friends in different um, places that maybe you aren't going to be in. And that's something that even till today is something that I have to constantly remind myself 
um, because jealousy can be real, you know, and a lot of us don't want to admit it, but it is real. And I've had, <laughs> oh, when, and especially when it comes to my best friends, when someone's your best friend, yeah, you feel like you know what's best for them, right? You feel like when you guys are together, they have the best time and that's it. So anybody else is like a tier below, but it, it should never be about that. And you should never feel that possessiveness over a whole other human being. Like, you got to let them go spread their wings. You just got to let people go and spread their wings and do their own things and live their own lives. And the older you get, the more that is just crucial. Like, you can't be a possessive friend. It's suffocating. It's suffocating to the other person. And actually, it's, it's bad for yourself because you're not allowing yourself to meet other people and have other experiences. I was reading this book called The Defining Decade, Why Your 20s Matter. And it was talking about strong ties and weak ties. We put all our focus on strong ties which are like our best friends or you know those kind of people and then we don't focus on the weak ties as well and the weak ties would be people that it's people at work and you know in different areas of your life and those relationships are just as important as the friendships so don't just pull all your energy into you know your best friends the people that like all the things that you like the people that do all the things that you do it's so important to draw from different people and experience different people and not be so possessive over the people you have the strongest ties with because if that tie is truly strong you shouldn't feel insecure in it if that tie is truly strong then you shouldn't have to question it and i'm preaching to myself <laughs> i'm preaching to myself because it's something that um over the years it's something that i've constantly had to work on and it's something that i've constantly had to be wary of my youtube's small but you know i always get surprised when people actually send me emails and send me questions and comments about like friendships because I, th I guess for some reason they see the friendships that I have and they're like how have you been able to have such good friendships I guess they can see it through camera so shout out to my friends in it you lot are the real MVPs people people are seeing it it boils down to a couple things right with friendships first of all do you have the same values and if you don't have the same values then I really question the substance of the friendship because how can you spend time with someone that doesn't share the same values as you and that doesn't mean that someone that likes the same things as you but somebody that shares kind of some of the same core values as you whether that's belief whether that's just the way they treat people whether that's just their perspective on life because if you spend time with people that don't share the same values of you oftentimes either you're compromising who you are and what you believe in and what you stand for or they're compromising and also it just becomes very draining because then somebody's pretending or somebody's kind of has to submit to another person in a way in order to have a healthy friendship where you're not butting heads all the time so i really feel like having similar values is really really important in friendships it's not about liking the same things but definitely sharing the same values a big one of the biggest 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 signs is how you feel when you leave somebody like you know sometimes when you chill with certain people and you leave and you're just like low-key you're happy that you've left or like you chill with certain people and you're just tired like you're just i'm not tired in the sense of oh i've done a lot today I i'm tired physically like mentally you're tired you're drained because either you've had to pretend to be someone you've had you've had to over exaggerate and overcompensate for something and it's just it's just not it's not an even exchange if that makes sense it's not an even exchange when you're around these people that's a lot of the reason why sometimes when you leave certain people you feel drained and you don't know why because it's not an even exchange they might be drawing more from you than you're drawing from them and it, and it leaves you drained and i think that's just not something that you want to experience with the people that are closest to you and that's one thing i can say whenever i hang out with all my friends i don't have that feeling and you know in the past i have had certain people and sometimes you feel like there's something wrong with you because oh, And that butt is very, very sexual. You gotta pay attention to that ass. That butt, you gotta pay attention to it because it's not to say that they're a bad person or you're a bad person, but sometimes you just, some people, you just, the energy is just, it's not an even exchange. And that's not to take away from them, it's not to take away from you, but only so long you can go on with certain relationships where it's just like, Mm, it's not an even exchange for whatever reason one of the biggest tells is also how they react when you share good news with them if you have somebody that when you share good news or when you tell them about your plans or something like that they're just very negative and they're just not and they're not excited for you like i would not want to be friends with someone where when i tell them good news they are not excited for me that is not a friend i want you're having a conversation with your friend and they're not excited for you that doesn't make sense to me you would not want to share news with somebody that you call your friend and they're not excited for you and they don't celebrate you and they don't gas you up and all of that 
you know, they don't have to be screaming from the rooftops, but you know, you know in your heart if you share news with someone and you're like, the energy is just not clicking. For me, those are kind of signs to see, you know, if a friendship is a good friendship. Obviously, everything is unique to everybody. I'm not pretending to have any of the answers, but they're the kind of things that I look out for for my friendships and the kind of things that have helped me um with kind of picking who your friends are because it is a choice you have a choice in the matter you're not forced to be friends with anybody it's so empowering to know that like i said friendships start and end with you and if you keep that in your head like when you're going through hard times with certain friends or with certain people you're having disagreements and it's just you're just constantly draining it's negative and it's not doing anything for you but just bringing you down you know listen friendship starts and ends with me so either i can start being the friend that i want start being the friend that I want and if they respond to that then that's good and you can keep the ball moving or ends with you so my camera definitely died and I don't remember where I was at I really hope it wasn't something too important that I ended with but I really can't remember I'll close with my tips in terms of friendship the first one which I think is the most important thing which I haven't really tapped into too much but I just think as a baseline in everything in life I think the first thing is always if you don't know or like who you are right then your friendships are likely to not be great because to me like attracts like right or not even just like attracts like but if you don't know or if you don't like who you are you are likely to drain you're, go you're likely going to be the draining source when i was talking about you know leaving some people and you feel drained people could be around you and they could feel drained because often if you don't know or if you don't like who you are you're often pretending to be something that you're not or you're overcompensating in some way or you're draining in some sort of way because you're just it's like a facade when you're put in certain situations the way you move is a bit mad and oftentimes it's because you don't know or like who you are so that as a baseline is is always important and also if you don't know or like who you are you're often going to attract people that also don't know or like who you are you're just sabotaging the relationships that you have you know because it's already starting on shaky ground when i'm talking about this seed yeah and this plant that's growing earlier on in the video this friendship is going to grow on infertile soil so it's like there'll be so many attempts to try and make it work often butt heads stuff like that because you don't know or like who you are and as a standard in life if you don't know or like who you are you're often going to be swayed into things that you don't want to be swayed into or that don't make you feel comfortable or that don't make you feel good or you're going to be in circles that you shouldn't even be in and you're questioning like why am i doing this or you're, you keep doing things that you're not proud of or you keep doing things that just you know just aren't you or you just don't feel good about yourself because you don't know like who you are so you don't even know what you stand for and if you don't know what you stand for you don't know what your boundaries are and people will just treat you anyhow and just run amok sit down with yourself and be like what do i like what do i you know like what, what is your backbone what is your what is at your core kind of thing you have to step away from a lot of the smoke and mirrors of social media and a lot of the smoke and mirrors of just certain people and the smoke and mirrors that you even present you know to other people and be able to figure that out for yourself like pull everything back and at your core who are you so say for example with me and actually i am i'm somebody that loves to just live in the moment i'm somebody that's like spontaneous i'm somebody that likes to have fun even when i'm even when i'm being serious or even when i'm perceived to be being serious or focused i just love to enjoy life i just want to enjoy life at my core and if i'm with someone that's draining me of that and i don't feel like i can experience things with that person it's just mm, probably not gonna click you know and once you understand those things it already eradicates just a lot of nonsense you can observe from a distance and that's what I often do because I know who I am I know what I like I know what I don't like so rather than just jumping into friendships you know obviously give people a chance but rather than just jumping into friendships and and expecting things from people and all of this I need to know what I like I need to know what I don't like I need to know what my boundaries are and that way the energy that I project is very um stable people tend not to just run amok around me because you know I know who I am so you can't pull the wall over my eyes I see you because I see me someone else can't just come and just cause commotion you know because I see it from a mile away and obviously you can't avoid certain scenarios right you know nobody has a magic wand nobody can prevent anything bad from happening but it cuts a lot of just the nonsense away I spend so much time on that because honestly I feel like that is such 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 an important message if you don't take anything away especially when it comes to making friends when it comes to maintaining friendships and you know just seeing if your friendships are strong and quality and you know all of that kind of stuff 
go where you are sorry if i'm looking down i'm looking at my paper go where you are appreciated go where you're nurtured go where you're respected and go where you're valued when it comes to going where you're appreciated yeah have you ever been around people and you just feel like when you say things or when you offer things or when you do things for people they just they take it for granted you know and it's obviously you don't do things for an applause you don't well you shouldn't but if people don't appreciate you when you go out of your way for them it's a bit like bro like you just feel like you've got a capital l on your head am i a techly teacup like am i a mug and it's not even an ego thing but good friends will appreciate you and it's not to say you shouldn't have to shout at people to appreciate you, you shouldn't have to force it go where you're appreciated go where people appreciate your presence but when you're not there they're like oh i missed you today you know that those kind of things go where you're appreciated not where you're overlooked and where you know you're forgotten about when you're there go where you're nurtured good friends will nurture you they'll ask you you know how is such and such going they could offer you advice they could offer you tips support you help you grow in whatever way that is whether that's emotionally whether that's with experiences whether that's you know just go where you're nurtured I think that's pretty essential in terms of like the, the friendship I was talking about in the beginning of the video. I wasn't being nurtured. I'm pouring into it and no one else is pouring into it. So you just got to know when to leave because the, the plant of friendship is not being nurtured anymore. It's dead. It's done out here. And go where you're respected and valued. Now, one thing that makes me itch, <laughs> I see the way certain people talk to their friends, right? And there's banter and then there's you're taking the piss. Like, no. Computer says no. The way certain people do their friends, the way they talk about their friends when their friends are not there, or just things like that, is maybe it's just me, maybe that's just my values, maybe that's just the way I'm, you know, set up. But you can't have your friend out here looking crazy. You can't be talking crazy about your friends and call that your friend. You just, you can't, you can't. Do, that's just a mad thing. It's just mad. It's I can't relate. I hope you can't relate. And honestly, if that's something you're going through, just peace out, cut a town. And if you're the person that's doing that as well, you're mad you're actually mad go where you're valued and respected go where your opinion is valued and respected go where who you are is valued and respected don't go where people bring you down don't go where people take the piss out of you don't go where people just don't make you feel good or don't make you feel worthy when you know who you are and know what you like you will know when you're being disrespected you will know what your boundaries are and you know give people a chance tell them about themselves as in I don't like this 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 and if you tell them what you don't like as well and if you vocalize that and they still taking the piss Mm. too many times we try to prove to people or show to people you know i'm cool enough i'm worthy enough i'm this enough i'm flashy enough i'm trendy enough i'm this enough you shouldn't have to be anything enough you are enough simple as when you get those friendships that you feel you feel valued you feel respected you feel appreciated all those things you will cut off the nonsense you will see the nonsense from a mile away and you just won't even entertain it anymore because why am i coming i can't i can't die and be dead <laughs> as melissa wardrobe says if you don't have her on instagram she's a funny as i cannot die and be dead like why am i coming to die and be dead for what for useless uses no you're not for me i'm not for you keep it moving it's harder when it's a friendship that you feel like you've had for a long time but i really hope that you take from this time doesn't mean anything probably not realistic but i could have a rose for five years and then it dies once it's died those five years i can't get them back i can't now water it and then all grow. like it's done it doesn't matter if it's been there for five days five years doesn't matter if it's been there for five days it's if it's done it's done you have to gracefully bow out and know when when the expiry date is there um, and i really hope that me talking about this candidly helps in terms of building new friendships in terms of maintaining friendships in terms of just assessing your friendships and just understanding friendship a bit more it's just such a powerful thing when you're surrounded by good people and good company it's such a powerful thing and even biblically i'll put some scriptures up here about friendships right um iron sharpens iron having a good friend and being a good friend you sharpen each other you learn from each other you build from each other you grow with each other you have fun together it's just so mate good friendships man don't play yourself be the friend you want to be don't force it know what you stand for know what you want in a friendship be relentless in that stand firm in that and it will come when it comes and when it fails learn better for next time there's too many people on this earth and sometimes some people feel so important in your life and when you lose them or when you lose out on that friendship you feel like yo what am i gonna do but you had a life before them 
and there's so much more life after them. I hope that could give you some insight, you know, give you something to think about, has empowered you to like now march on in your friendships and know, you know, what, what you're bringing to the table. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I hope it wasn't too preachy because I'm not trying to be Pastor Jared out here, but I'm just trying to, you know, document what I'm feeling and what I've come to realise and hopefully that can cut out just nonsense and we can all be great. Thanks for watching the video. You know what to do. If this helped you in any way, I'd love if you could like, comment, subscribe. Just let me know kind of your insights if there's anything you took from the video. Thank you for watching and bye.